Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Miss Campbell and today I'm going to teach you how to create this crayon shadow box. So my teacher coach actually gifted one of these to me when I was a first year teacher. This is not it, I made this one. I don't know where the one that I was gifted is because I moved across the country. But I felt super special. I thought it was such a thoughtful gift because it was handmade. This does make a really great gift for the holiday season or during Teacher Appreciation Month. Pretty much anytime you wanna show a teacher some love. Or if you wanna make it for yourself, you can use it to decorate your classroom or your office. I know I'm actually gonna put this one in my office right now. So I'm gonna move this right here. The materials that you need to make a crayon shadow box include a shadow box. So this one is about, it's like about nine by nine inches and it's a perfect square, but you could honestly get any size that you want. I'll be using glitter cardstock. However, you can just print out the pieces that you need on a printer if you don't have a Cricut machine. You really don't need a Cricut machine to make this project. However, it's gonna just be easier for me. And I'll actually show you the pieces that I'm using my Cricut machine for. If you see my name and the actual background on the crayons, that is what I was using with glitter cardstock. You'll need a hot glue gun and some glue sticks, of course. You'll need crayons. And depending on what letter you're making and how big your letter is, you may need one or two boxes of crayons. And last but not least, you'll need an X-Acto knife. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already, and be sure to like this video and comment if you're going to try this craft out. Now let's get started. Here is a close-up of the shadow box that I'll be using, and I'm just showing you all sides of it. Next, I'm going to remove the back from it, and I don't want to mess up my nails, so I just use the scraper tool that I have. I remove the frame from the backing of the shadow box, and this is what we will be attaching our letter onto, so I'm just trying to make sure that it's a good size and this is a good size for me so i'm going to stick with this letter i am using a piece of cardstock and i'm placing my crayons on top of it just so that my desk doesn't get all messy with crayons because i'm going to be cutting them soon this is actually my first time trying to make a shadow box so i don't really know any techniques and i tried to glue the crayons onto the letters and then take my X-Acto knife and then cut it from the back so that I could see where I need to cut it. Unfortunately, this method did not work that great and I'll show you why. So basically, I had to rip off the crayon after I cut it because it just wasn't cutting all the way through. And as you can see, it doesn't really look super neat. So I had to go back with my knife and try to shave it down so that it could look a little bit better. It does look a lot better after I shaved it with the X-Acto knife and I'm adding the green crayon here. This one doesn't need to be trimmed, but I'm gonna show you the new method that I found to work. So I placed the blue crayon on the letter and I mark it with my X-Acto knife, take it off of the letter and then cut through it because it is easier that way and it allows me to get a cleaner cut. So if you can see how I just place it right back on the letter, it looks really good that way. I'm going to repeat the process with the rest of my crayons, which is just measuring it to the letter and then cutting it with my X-Acto knife. I highly recommend that you plan out your colors first so that way you know the pattern that you want. I'm kind of doing a rainbow starting from the bottom and then going up from there.
Now that we have all of the crayons glued onto the letter C, I'm just taking my X-Acto knife and just shaving off the ends so that it could be a little bit more neat. You can also use scissors as well just to trim off the extra paper that might be hanging off of the sides. And now it's time for us to glue it onto the back of our shadow box. So I did make another piece of glitter cardstock because I wanted it to have an outline like you see there. And I think it looks really good. So I'm just going to leave that cardstock there and lift it up to add the hot glue on there just so that it stays in place. Now that we have our letter C glued down, I'm adding some painter's tape to the bottom because I'm using it as a guide so that my letters will be nice and straight. And I did cut out my letters using a Cricut machine. If you don't have a Cricut machine though, you can just simply print out the name that you want on your shadow box and that will work perfectly fine too. So I am just hot gluing the letters and once I am done hot gluing all of the letters down then I'm going to remove the tape. And the final step would be to add your crayons inside of the shadow box and then to close the little hinges like I'm doing here. And I'm just flipping it over just to make sure that it is the correct way and it is so I'm just going to finish putting the rest of the hinges down. I don't know if they're called hinges, but. And here's how it looks. Uh, I do have some fingerprints on there, so I'm wiping it down with some Windex so that it could be nice and clean. Here is a close up of the finished product. And I think it turned out really good for it being my first time trying this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video inspired you to become crafty today. If you make this craft, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback and who you're making it for, whether it's for yourself or another teacher. And I'll catch you in the next video.